Hi sweet friends, welcome back to Mary's Nest. Today I'm sharing some news from my nest. Well I know everybody is probably very busy getting ready and preparing for Thanksgiving, but I just wanted to come on for a minute to say hello and wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And I hope that you enjoyed some of the videos that I shared uh, with you about the things that I like to make. Like, and I had to write it down so I wouldn't forget. Uh, I, I did the gravy and the poultry seasoning and the cornbread dressing and the orange cranberry sauce and the whipped mashed potatoes and my little tip about the two small turkeys and about cooking two small turkeys and I'll tell you how that came about was because I have a very small oven and I can't fit a big turkey in it and one Thanksgiving this is going back way back to when I was first married I bought this huge turkey and I couldn't get it in the oven the top of the turkey was touching the top of my oven well, the turkey had to be cut in half and what do they call it, spatchcock, I think, when you do it to a chicken. And that's how we had to get the turkey in the oven. So after that, I just started making two small turkeys. And it always works like a charm. I can get them in the oven. They cook in, you know, I did for the video of two 12-pound turkeys. They cook in about three hours and it's just fantastic. So I put all the videos in a playlist if you want to check them out, you know, at the last minute if you're, if you're making any of them. Uh, what I liked about, what I, or what I tried to do, was pick all things that could be made ahead of time. So, and the reason, again, why I do that is having a small oven, I need to kind of make everything else in advance, because I don't have double oven or anything like that, just a small, it's like the smallest oven that's made, like 28 inch or something like that. And so I have to make everything the day ahead or two days ahead and just reheat things slowly on my um, uh, on my stovetop or in the case of the stuffing when I take the turkeys out as I shared with you I'll take them out of the oven tent them let them rest for like 20 to 30 minutes while I warm uh, the cornbread dressing so I, I've got this down to a science now but in any event I put them all in a playlist so uh, hopefully they can help you out if you need to make uh, anything uh, in advance uh, if, if you're in my situation where you have a, just one small oven and one thing that I want to say that always amazes me about the, all of these things that I've made, I, I think are nice, but I'm especially impressed with the whipped mashed potatoes, which is actually something I learned from my mom, uh, because those became popular, I think it might have been like the 1960s when those electric beater, hand beaters were becoming popular. And, uh, you know, versus the old fashioned one, my mother for years had the old fashioned hand beater that you held like this and just cranked with the other hand. But those electric mixers were becoming popular popular and uh, my mom started making mashed potatoes uh, using that and what always amazed me was that after sitting in the refrigerator for a day or two they were still fluffy even when you were spooning them out to put them in the pan to reheat and that, I was always very impressed with that because a lot of times uh, if I make mashed potatoes different ways the next day they're like a rock you know, in the fridge when you take them out to reheat them but these just say you stay super fluffy so these are my favorite go-to ones for um, for Thanksgiving where I have to make them in advance so I hope you enjoy that playlist of videos and uh, I look forward to doing more. Maybe I'll do something like that uh, as we go into the Christmas season as well. But in any event, I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. I so enjoy spending time with you and uh, some of you who have YouTube channels, you know, my social circle, uh, I often play your videos and your playlists when I'm in the kitchen by myself cooking and it's like having you here and I really enjoy enjoy that. Uh, I really feel like we're cooking together and so that's a lot of fun. Uh, and to just general viewers who don't have YouTube channels or maybe just don't have YouTube channels yet because I'm always encouraging everyone to start one because it's a lot of fun. Uh, again, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoy lots of good food and get to some rest and relaxation after all the cooking and eating. Well, that's all for for today but I want to thank you as always for joining me here and I look forward to having you join me again right here in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless. 
Oh, and before you go, if you haven't had a chance to see some of my Thanksgiving videos, be sure to check out these. I think you'll enjoy them. Well, I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye for now.